welcome to this episode of Slinkered Party of Four. In case you're wondering who the voice is that you're hearing, it is, as my wife refers to me, Hubby. And so tonight, it is actually, I am tasked with uh, cooking dinner because my wife, she is under the weather. And uh, I'm going to show you what we're going to be making. This is going to be the pork chili verde. You see that number 520. Well, I'm going to tell you, my wife is down for the count. But thankfully, back on May 20th, this is a freezer mill, uh, mill that she had made. She prepared for times like this. And I'm going to tell you, now I'm tasked for, like I said earlier, pork chili verde. I'm going to go ahead and put a picture up uh, on this video. That way you can see what it's supposed to look like. And we're going to see how well I do, but the pork chili verde. And then also you see my wife has the idiot proof time. She's got the instant pot there for 30 minutes. Now I will say with this one, the meat was not fully defrosted. So what we're going to do is, is we're going to add a half cup of water and we're going to put that initial cook time up to 40 minutes to account for the meat not properly being defrosted. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and get started and uh, I'll see you back here shortly. All right, what you're about to see is you're about to see history. Now, I believe in our uh, 17 years of marriage, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I have cooked about three times. Um, and so uh, what's, uh, what you're seeing here is, is I've got the half cup of water going into the Instapot. Next is going to be the chili verde. Dump this in here. Oh, yeah. I can tell you, it already smells delicious. It's been sit, well, it's just been setting out, defrosting today, but hey, I tell you what, you know what? This is good. This could be a. Uh, a bloopers folly for somebody, um, you know, and I could very easily say, you know what, we're going to go ahead and uh, and just cut that out. But truth be told, this just shows how awesome my wife is. So now what we're what we're going to do is we're going to hit pressure cook, and then we're going to hit the plus sign. We're going to take this all the way up to uh, to forty. If you hold it down, it'll automatically go up. Uh, but this is good. And then next, I've got it where it is up to sealing. At this point in time, uh, we're going to let this go pressure cook for 40 minutes. And then if you notice in the bag before, uh, what it said was it had a an NR. Um, and that release is going to be for 10 to 15 minutes. But we're going to let this set and we'll go from here. All right. So we are getting ready to go to the rice now. Now, uh, I appreciate your patience on this. This is uh, real life, as my wife and I were just talking about. You know, there's going to be, I'm going to make mistakes. Um, we're not perfect. I'm definitely not perfect. But, uh, so what we're going to do, we're pouring our water in. We're going to be doing the rice. Now, I've got uh, four cups already measured out, four cups of rice. I'm going to do, typically, it was uh, four cups of water for, uh, for uh, four cups of rice if I'm not mistaken. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the bottle of water. Getting this poured in. We've got this. And then next is going to be the rice. Get into the pitcher. We're going to pour this in. Right here. All right, so you want to make sure that the uh, that the rice is fully immersed. So now we're going to go ahead and hit the pressure cook. Take this up to nine, and oh, we should be good. We got it set for the ceiling, and uh, now we're just going to wait for the rice. And we've got the the other instapot still going. There's our beep saying that on. That is always a good sign. If it does not uh, beep and tell you on, <laughs> you're in trouble. All right, I want to use this as an opportunity to uh, kind of just point out a couple different things. My wife is a big fan of the Pioneer Woman brand. Uh, we have the Pioneer Woman Instapot there. And then also you see the measuring cup that we have. That is Pioneer Woman. I actually got her some uh, Pioneer Woman gifts for Christmas coming up. My wife loves pretty things. That's why if you look to the right, that Instapot, it was just a plain Jane. Uh, not to offend any Janes out in the world, but it was a plain Jane Instapot. We ended up getting a magnet for it to kind of pretty it up 
And I tell you what, what we're going to do is down in the uh, down below, we're going to put a link to the Pioneer Woman brand Instapot, as well as where you can order your own magnets for your own Instant Pot, and uh, look for that below. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna use this as a time to kind of go ahead and, and give that plug for the uh, breakfast sandwiches my wife made the other day. Right now, what I've done is uh, I went ahead pulled out my bacon egg cheese bagel for in the morning. Uh, I'm going to put that in the refrigerator. That way it's going to be able to uh, begin to defrost. Now, you, like what my wife said in the video, you're going to want to play around with this because this bacon egg cheese bagel, what I found is the first day I ended up uh, cooking it at two minutes. It was a little hard as far as on the bagel. And uh, I thought maybe it was something that, you know, maybe because it was frozen. What I found out, though, is a minute and a half on the bagels with our uh, Emerson microwave, absolutely perfect, uh, perfect. So now I've got my bacon egg cheese bagel ready for in the morning. It's going to be setting in there. I'm going to pop it in the microwave, 90 seconds. Absolutely delicious. I've been keeping up with the... Uh, with the breakfast sandwiches, if you remember, we started at 71. Right now, if the counts are correct, it's at 65. I've made sure that I updated uh, what I had, uh, what I've been pulling, as well as uh, you know, just trying to make sure the counts are correct. That gives you a great rundown. So I thought that was ingenious of what uh, Mindy was able to do. Um, and then you know, I will say it is so much better to pull the sandwiches out the night before, let them defrost while they are uh, in the uh, refrigerator, because this morning. I ended up uh, getting around a little bit late, forgot to put one out last night, and uh, so what ends up happening is, is it's completely frozen. I ended up having to cook it where it was frozen. I ended up going with a sausage egg cheese biscuit. Uh, it was completely frozen, and with it being frozen, I ended up having to cook it a little bit longer. So the cheese was super hot. The meat was not as hot as I wanted it to be. The biscuit was definitely hot. And so, but what I found is that's, that's on me. So, you know, you want to make sure that you're pulling these out the night before uh, because a minute and a half to two minutes tops is good. You try to cook them from frozen, um, you have to cook it longer, and it's just not as good as what it could be. So I learned my lesson. It is uh, 6 o'clock, um, 6 o'clock in the afternoon or in the evening. I'm already prepping for tomorrow and uh, very thankful for my wife. So uh, shout out to her and uh, thank you guys. All right, uh, now if you see, the Instant Pot on the right is down to L000. That's the one that has our rice in it. 29 minutes left on uh, the uh, pressure, or I'm sorry, as far as on the, the cooking with the chili verde, or the pork chili verde. Um, but, uh, so the rice has already went off, and some of you may have said, Oh, whoa, 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 wait, wait, that could be an issue. No, it is not. The great thing about the Instant Pot is... If I'm not mistaken, the rice will be able to stay warm in the Instant Pot. My wife told me, I believe, for 10 hours before it even starts to burn. So it was good that my wife had me um, you know, go ahead and start to meat first, and then the rice, and now the rice is just able to stay there, stay warm. Um, girls and my wife are saying that the uh, smell throughout the house is uh, uh, smells delicious, and uh, we're looking forward to being able to uh, to dig in here in the next little bit. All right, so here we are. We are at uh, L33 on the rice and laps three minutes on the uh, pork chili verde. I'm looking at and speaking with uh, the wife. We're gonna end up letting it lapse for probably about another 11 minutes. And so, and all that's doing is that's doing the natural release uh, from the pressure cooker or from the Instant Pot. And so, like I said, we got about another 11 minutes. The rice at this point in time is just uh, staying warm in the Instant Pot. Uh, it's doing a great job. Uh, the food, looking forward to digging in. And like I said, we're going to do a comparison. We're going to do that comparison to how uh, this dish looks compared to uh, what uh, what we saw uh, with the uh, picture that I gave you earlier. And so, uh, you know, really interested to see how this turns out. But uh, we're down to just a matter of seconds for you watching the video, but here in real time, roughly about 11 minutes or so. All right, so we've got the meat out. <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead 
and uh, just kind of <clears throat> start to cut it. You can tell that it is definitely done. <clears throat> Looks very beautiful there. So. <clears throat> This is a look at the chili, the pork chili verde. Um, I cannot wait. We're getting ready to put it onto some rice here. And so, uh, but it is uh, done. All right. <clears throat> we have the finished product. We have our bowl of the pork chili verde stew with the bowl of rice and uh, <clears throat> absolute perfection. Thank you so much for uh, joining in with us. We look forward to seeing you next time. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. That way, the next time we come out with a video, you are alerted to it. Thank you so much. Have a great night.